Hey everybody, welcome back to the Frugal Filmmaker Tip of the Month. Today I want to share a free screen capture utility with you. It's called Open Broadcaster Software, or OBS. Now in the recent past, I recommended this program down here, Cam Studio, to do screen captures. In fact, it's what I did all my screen captures with. It's also free. But when I made that video, people told me, hey, there's a virus attached to this program when you download it. And others in that same video said, try OBS. It's really good. And you know what? I did... And they're right, it is really good. It provides much smoother video as a result. So when I do these screen capture tutorials, um, I get a much more fluid result. So I've been using OBS and I just wanna show you how to install it. Ironically, I'm capturing this entire video with Cam Studio because I can't run two instances of OBS. So I'm just gonna show you how to set it up. Uh, when you install it, I'll give you a link below, of course. This is the screen you get right here. By the way, OBS uh, is multi-platform, meaning it'll run on uh, Windows, Mac, and Linux, so that makes it uh, much better than Camp Studio also. At any rate, when you go to set up this program, the first thing you want to do is set up your source. You're going to right-click in this box here labeled Sources, and then go to Add, and then click on Monitor Capture. And you can put in any name you want here. I'm just going to leave it as Monitor Capture, then hit OK. Then you go to Settings, and you're going to go to Encoding right here. All this is set up for you. I'm just going to add a maximum bit rate. I'm going to add a zero here so we get 10,000 kilobytes per second and normally this is lower because OBS is used for streaming so you should have this lower than your upload but we're gonna go right to a file so we're not gonna worry about that because we're gonna now go to broadcast settings and change our live stream mode to file output only And when we do that uh, it'll give us a file path option I'm gonna go to browse to change that uh, mostly because you want to make sure that it's uh, saving as an mp4 and not an FLV as you know, MP4 is much easier to edit than any editor you might have. So I'm just going to put in screen capture. Oops, spell it right. Will be our default file name. And so there you go. It's all set up there. Uh, video. Yes, we want to apply our changes. Video defaults, I believe, to your screen size. Mine is full HD. It's 1920 by 1080, so that's already set. Um, and frames per second is 30. That's fine and audio is all ready to go. Everything's all ready to go. It's that easy to set up. So now when you go back to this, all you have to do to start recording is to hit start recording. And it'll give you uh, exactly what you're seeing on screen. And then as you can see, your audio is being captured right here uh, by default. So you can easily sync it up with any audio recorder, which I highly recommend you do because the audio you get from this is gonna sound terrible and muddled and muddy because you're using your, your laptop or, or a desktop computers built in a microphone, which typically is awful. So use something else and sync it up in post. And when you hit stop, uh, it's just going to automatically save to wherever you told it to. So that's OBS. I mean, I assume it's also a very good live streaming utility, but I don't know. I've never tried that. I, but it's an excellent, excellent, excellent free screen capture utility. So check it out. I'll leave a link below. This has been the Frugal Filmmaker Tip of the Month.